What's up guys, hey, it's James first with The Marketing Show and I'm so excited to launch the alpha, the alpha launch, not the beta launch, the alpha. You'll be one of the first people in the world to get your hands on this snapshot. It's a high level snapshot and it is called the Infinite Nurture Sequence, the Infinite Nurture Snapshot, okay? So I am horrible at sending emails, right? I don't know what it is. I have this mental block about like typing it up and then like sending out the blast and maybe they're gonna unsubscribe and different things. I even used to internally notify myself when people unsubscribed. Don't do that. Uh, anyways, I am the worst. I know I need to email better, right? I know I need to set up automations, but for whatever reason, I hadn't, you probably hadn't either, okay? Now, here's the thing. He's like, who's gonna sit down and like write those emails? Well, with ChatGPT, you know, we can crank out those emails a lot faster now right? Uh, hopefully you have some content. You hopefully you have some value pieces that you can add to your audience. If not, get to work on that first. Uh, you know, having some value, some blog posts. You don't even have to be the one that created the content. Just content that's relevant in your niche, be emailing out to your people about that, right? Okay, so check this out. This is what happened, is I wanted to create this series of emails. And I knew if I had enough emails, I could just randomly just start emailing people all the time. So this is the infinite nurture snapshot, which means once you get this thing set live, it will run indefinitely for the rest of your life, for the rest of mine, as long as the high level subscription is active, right? As long as the servers are running, this thing is gonna email them. That what the intent is up to every single day for the rest of their life and yours and mine, okay? So, okay, let's, let's go ahead and jump in and show you a little bit of the demo of this of uh, this what i've come up with okay and alpha that means you're the first we're not even out of testing like this is like i just made this and now you're gonna be the first customers to to install this try and give me feedback i'm gonna be heavily involved with the with the first few groups right because i want to knock this out of the part for you and uh, i want to get your feedback and iterate make it better right but we it's ready now to get into someone's hands start benefiting from this okay let's take a look so this has I think it has over uh, what 400 different emails for one, and it comes with uh, probably 40 to 43 different workflows. Okay, to pull this whole thing off. Check this out. So there's that. There's that. There's that. Right. Just to do the legwork alone uh, took me hours. Okay, which you'll save even if you had to pay a VA to do this. Right. Uh, okay. So check this out. So here's this here. This is an example of these emails going out, right? So first of all, let me say that emails are not included, okay, at this point in time. Um, you know, your business is different than mine. You're gonna need to have a VA or somebody yourself come in, put the subject line, put in the email, have the call to action, hook up the link, right? Like, that, I don't know if that can be automated yet today, right? But so, but we're miles ahead of where we were just a few years ago. Also, like I've made it really easy. There's a custom value, so you just, if for all 400 emails, you just put the, put the sender name, put the uh, email itself once and all of them are updated. Okay. So then here's another email. Here's another email. And here's the thing. What's really cool about this is that no one has 365 emails done right now. I don't either, right? Here's my start myself. Now, what you can do though, is in one place, you can change the weight condition. Okay. Let me show you this part right here. Uh, let's see. Oh, let's see. I'll just tell you. So uh, actually, I think it's right. I think it's right here. You just change the weight condition. Okay. So in one place, you change the weight condition. This is what it, what that means is that, um, you know, it's like send an email, wait a day, send an email, wait a day. Your, your standard, typical uh, type of nurture campaign. Well, if you had, what I like to say is if you, if you're, if you can write 12 emails, right? Get started with this. Say, I can sit down for a day and knock out 12 emails and you're gonna set the wait condition to 30 days. What does that mean? Now I'm at least keeping in touch with my customers once a month, okay? So I have a newsletter campaign. Once a month, I'm keeping in touch with them, okay? And then as soon as you've got that, your next goal is to, can I get 52 pieces of content, 52 call to actions, reminders, value posts, whatever it is, can I get to 52 pieces of content? And then when you do, you come in and change that weight condition to once a week. Every seven days, I'm now going to be keeping in touch with you. From there, and now mind you, this can be added to. So you don't have to like uh, send the email blast and then like add the thing. You just come in, 
you add as you can. This is great. So you can get started right away. And your goal is to fill out all the emails, all the email placeholders. Okay. So then you have uh, content going out once a week indefinitely, and it's randomly picking of those 52. Okay. Now you have a one in 52 chance that uh, it, you're going to get the same email twice, right? So what you want to do is hopefully get up to 365 and it goes all the way up to 400 even. That's the max that I put into it so far. You can add more, but hopefully 365 should be plenty, right? Now you've got 365 pieces of content and you are and you come and change the weight condition to uh, one day. So now every single day, if if you want your and your list won't get tired of it, if it's got to be good. If you're sending dollar bills through the emails and you're giving them value, it, uh, it shouldn't be a problem. If the, if it's valuable, right? And it's in the, the the fit to the audience is there. Now you're sending a daily email for for forever, essentially, right? So and it's going to randomly pick. So some person. Uh, he, they're going to, two people come into this thing. They're going to have a completely different experience. It's the same email. So this person, a man, my wife, so she got email 372, then she got 229, then she got 378, then she got 252, then 327, three, then 355. Somebody else, Clinton, shout out to Clinton. He got it in this order, email 376, 387, 215, 123. Jake Shore, he got the t- email test as well. 364, 365, 350, 121. And Jake as well, he got 363, 359, 232, 269, and email 62, okay? I put these to like a minute wait uh, for the testing purposes, right? To see that. So you guys, uh, now, you know, I used to be, I was like, I can't email you guys on Black Friday. I haven't emailed you in three or four months. You think I'm just gonna, I'm out for a money grab, a Black Friday money grab. Now it's like, no, I'm getting that, I'm getting that consistency. They're expecting to hear from me, you know, have a daily tip of the day. Doesn't, don't overthink the content piece of this, all right? So now you're getting in touch with your people. Then now that you have these, this consistency, you're taking care of the consistency, the mental block, right? Now, when you have a Black Friday sale, you've already established who you are for one, that you're still in business for two, right? And the open rates and the emails warm. And so when it matters, you've got that relationship, right? And take a look. I have another video about how to set up automatic replies to campaigns. That could be cool for kind of increasing the deliverability. Uh, Let's see here. Guys, set it and forget it. Once you get this done, I've done a lot of the heavy lifting. You still need to write the content. Once this is done, it is going to be the engine. It's the keep in touch engine running in the background every single day, okay? So top of mind, I'm still here. I'm still in business. You opted into this thing. You opted into that thing. Do your initial, uh, you have a lead magnet, right? Have a lead magnet. You deliver the lead magnet. Have a little com- campaign there. Don't stop that. This is just the engine, the follow-up, nurture, keep in touch that everybody can use, okay? So do your little campaign. And then at the end of your workflow, just dump them into the top of this thing and keep in touch forever. Okay. Uh, it's pretty easy to install. It's a high level snapshot. We talked about that uh, eat right now. Eat, uh, emails are not included. Okay. Um, yeah. And, uh, that's pretty much it. You guys, um, right now, uh, for the month of February here, uh, this is, I'm recording this on Valentine's day. Uh, I am picking 20 people to work with individually. Eventually I could probably automate all of this, you know, send you to a member's area, give you a link to the snapshot and, um, you know, and, and good luck, uh, for, for right now, I am, you know, I'm going to have a close tight knit group. Uh, I want to hear that feedback. I want to be very close to you guys in the feedback and making sure you get installed successfully, understand, uh, you know, how, how it works and be there for you to handhold you, uh, to get this installed and up and running in your accounts. So this is also for unlimited sub accounts. So one account, one license, uh, for each high level license, okay? So if you have 200 counts, you can have it installed 200 times. So it could be a super, uh, super ad, big add on value add to your existing customers, okay? If you have multiple high level accounts, just get one license per. So with that being said, guys, um, I'm only taking 20 people right now to work with uh, as a group individually with me uh, for, this, for this cohort, you could say. So this group of people. Uh, and so if you, think this is you and you want to get in on this, literally some of the first people in the world to get your hands on this 
new infinite nurture sequence snapshot, uh, then send me a message um, and I will, um, I'll send you like a PayPal link or something, or maybe if I've gotten the funnel set up, maybe now there'll be a, a buy now type link somewhere around here. So guys, this is exciting. Like I'm excited to get this in place. I've already had people buying it. So I know that there's a need and a demand for this. Um, so we'll see where it goes, but thanks so much. Appreciate your support. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the show. Advice given is for educational purposes only and may not be applicable to your business. You should know that the marketing show receives compensation through its affiliate relationship for the products and services it recommends. Thank you for your support and we hope to see you on the next episode of The Marketing Show.